You see, he is there right now in the United Nations for discussion of these things, which atrocities and brutalities these Jews are doing. Imagine what kind of people are these. They are killing little children, infants, babies, and they get rid of that. They said it's okay for us. Whatever the other party is doing towards them, that's not the discussion. Then in return, how can you justify killing little babies? This is what happens when you learn from your Bible. You see, our people don't know. They never read Bible. It's in their Bible. It's written in their Bible, take the hand, take the legs of the baby and hit their heads on the rocks, on the stones. This is what they say in their Bible. Kill the donkeys, kill women, children, everyone, nothing must be left with breathe. Kill them all, even the donkeys must not be spared. Book of Joshua, read it. Book of Numbers chapter 31, read it. Kill people, keep yourself virgins, they are, they are good for you. Rape them, kill people. You see, I've made many lectures about atrocities, ab normalities, uh, absurdities, propensities in the Bible. I discussed this in detail and I have written down the book too. You can refer to the book and check. But this is the fitra, this is the nature of these people. One, this Samson, he can kill 300 people, even 1000 people with the jawbone of a donkey. You are gone for good. You have nothing in this world. This is the mentality of these Jews. They didn't even spare prophets. They killed prophets. Jesus Christ said it. You kill prophets from righteous Abel to Zechariah, the son of Bacharias. The blood of the prophets will be upon your shoulders on the day of judgment. You Jews, you, you whited sepulchers. You adulterous and evil generation. You brutes and snakes. Who said it? Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 12, verse 38, 39, and 40. Many places he addressed this nation like that. Moses said to them, Do stiff necked people, since I liberated you from Pharaoh's bondage. Is it not written in your book of Deuteronomy, these statements? And what happened when the fifth, sixth book fall in Joshua, Yusha bin Nun, who was one of the disciples of Musa alayhi salam, and under his circumstances and his, his command, they went to Palestine. Now, ask, I'm asking you a question. Bani Umayyah ruled Spain for 700 years. Didn't they, should it be they claiming now to give them back because 700 years they ruled it? Justify that. Why only you are entitled to get your holy land back? Ah, because it's given by God. It's given by God, we will see in the Bible. But on the political point of view, who gave you right to take this back? Why the Arabs shouldn't have the right to take, take Spain back, Hispania, where they ruled for 700 years. Give them back. See, you can't do, do like this. The only thing remains here, might is right. Twice armed is he whose cause is just. Thrice armed is he who gets in first. This is all because of this technology and weapons they are doing this. It's not because of justice and ruling. They know it very well. Our small little Palestinian boy is enough to fix you guys. Remove your weapons, then see who has courage. Allah says in the Quran, Allah mentioned in the Quran about the fitra of Jews. Allah says when you confront them in the war with your real, you know, utmost, uh, uh, what you call enthusiasm, they will run away. They will run away. Like we have a saying in our Urdu, Thothe Chana Baje Gana. When the P is hollow inside, it makes more sound, but it's hollow from inside. You know, P's, P E A S. So this is what they, these are the nature. This only talk, talk, talk because of the weapons. So give them back. No, because they say, no, it's not our promised land. That's why. You see, this is hypocritic. This is hypocrisy, intellectual hypocrisy.